Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to the next question, dealing with valuations. So you have a $10,000 line of credit at bank A with an interest rate of 5.85%. Bank B offers an interest of 7.2% on any loans and deposits. If you haven't used any of the credit line yet, what's the maximum arbitrage opportunity available to you over the next year? And then why would this arbitrage opportunity disappear in time? So notice that you can borrow money. You have a line of credit, $10,000 limit at 5.85%. But now there's another bank that offers an interest of 7.2% on any loans or deposits. So if you borrow from bank B, you're going to be charged 7.2%. But if you loan money to bank B, or you deposit money rather to bank B, then you're going to earn 7.2% on that savings account. And so obviously what you want to do is you want to borrow from bank A, your line of credit, and then invest or deposit in bank B. So the breakdown is right now in time zero, what would be the two steps? Well, you borrow from bank A. So what's happening is you're receiving $10,000 from bank A, and then you are depositing that 10,000 in bank B. So you're investing in bank B, so that's a negative cash flow. So you're receiving 10,000, and then you're depositing 10,000. So you receive the 10,000, which is a positive cash flow, and then you get rid of it, which is a negative cash flow. And so what's the net over here? Notice the net transaction is $0. Both of these are gonna just net out to zero. And then what's gonna happen is in one year, since you borrowed from bank A, you're gonna have to repay them. So you have to repay bank A. And more specifically, what are you going to have to repay them? You're going to have to repay them the $10,000, the principal, plus the interest. And so you're borrowing at an interest rate of 5.85%. 5.85% of 10,000 is $585 right? 0 0.0585 times 10,000 gives you 585. So you're repaying the 10,000 plus the interest of 585. So you would repay bank A. So this would now be a negative cash flow of $10,585 like that, right? So notice how it's the opposite signs, basically. Here you received the 10,000, but now you have to pay back the 10585 Versus here, you deposited 10000 in bank B, but now you're going to receive from bank B the principal, the 10000 that you invested, plus the interest of 7.2%. 7.2% of 10000 is what? 720. 0 0.072 times 10000 is 720. So you would receive the 10000 plus the 720, so you'd receive 10,720 in total. And so what's the net of these? Well, 10,720 minus 10,585, that would give you what, uh, $135? And so this here represents an arbitrage opportunity because what happened is whenever you're spending $0 and then receiving money, it's like a risk-free transaction. That's an arbitrage opportunity. It usually doesn't exist in the market. Something like this wouldn't exist, especially between big banks. But if something like this does exist in certain transactions, then it disappears quickly in time. And that's actually the second question. Why would this ar uh, arbitrage opportunity disappear in time? Well, what would happen is Bank A, so their interest rate is 5.85%. And then bank B, their interest rate is 7.2%. So what would happen 
is there would be bank A would notice there's a lot of people borrowing money from them. Everyone would start doing this because it's a risk-free transaction. So bank A would notice, hey, we're getting a lot of people borrowing our funds, a lot of demand there. So let's up the interest rate. So they would increase this interest rate with time. And then bank B would notice that we're getting a lot of deposits. And so we're paying a very high interest rate in terms of what else there is in the market. And so bank B would notice that they're paying too high of an interest rate. And so they would start lowering this as more and more deposits come in. Okay, so bank A would start upping their interest and then bank B would start lowering their interest. They would notice they're paying too high interest. And so with time, these would meet somewhere between, somewhere in the middle, between 5.85 and 7.2. And then this arbitrage opportunity would disappear because the interest rates would be the same. So this would end up being zero as well over here. Right? But at the moment, at the present interest rates, there is an arbitrage opportunity. You can borrow from bank A and then deposit in bank 